I'm Jackie M and I'm doing this video very short and very quick and the reason I'm doing this is because the topic, the dish that I was doing during my hangout on air, I have, we had some technical problems and it was getting an echo effect. So for those who missed out on some of the instructions that I relayed during the video, uh, during the hangout, this is what this is for. But basically what I'm making are what is called ji jiang fun in Malaysia which means the fresh rice rolls or rice noodle rolls, essentially. Very easy to make. And I've got here some rice flour, easy to pick up anywhere, and some tapioca flour. What you want is, this is a 500 gram pack of rice flour. You want about half a bag of this. I'm just putting it in a mixing bowl. And you want about four tablespoons of the tapioca starch, four or five tablespoons. And then to that, I'm going to add about a liter of water. And some vegetable oil. And I'm gonna mix it in together. You want a really runny batter without lumps, of course. Now, these rice flour rolls are eaten with a variety of different sources. The part of Malaysia that I grew up in, we actually use a uh, hoisin-based sauce, whereas up north, nearer to Penang, they use a shrimp paste sauce. This is what the shrimp paste looks like. It's labeled shrimp paste here, but it's more in this, with this particular brand anyway, but it's more usually known as prawn paste or put this udang. And unlike actual shrimp paste, the uh, blood chan, which comes in blocks, this one is like a triply uh, dark uh, and sweet uh, consistency. Okay, so I've got the batter mixed up here. And by the way, I've got a steamer going and I'm cooking, I'm heating up the, the, the pot of water with an os crown stove. But this is the consistency you want. Really runny. It's really just like water. Like white water. You want this on a uh, high heat. And I've got here these pans. They're about 8 inches by 8 inches. And I've lined them with these heat resistant plastic. You can use muslin or cheesecloth if you like. Just oil it with some water. Now, the trick to this is you want a really, really thin layer, which means that you need a very level surface and you don't want any crinkly bits on the plastic that you're putting this on. I'm just gonna spoon a layer about no more than two millimeters thick, if you can help it. And I'm going to steam this on high heat for about three minutes. Okay, and while that's happening, I'll just explain a little bit about the sauces. As I mentioned before, growing up in Saramban, my part of Malaysia, we used to have a poison based sauce. Now, this is just uh, one of the brands uh, that's quite popular over here. But I generally find that a poison sauce, if you're using it as a, um, as a spread, it's fine to use straight out of the jar. But if you're using it as a sauce or a sauce base, I generally find it to be a little bit too strong to use straight out of the jar. So what I would do is I would put some of it in the saucepan. This one's nearly empty. Okay, so I've got here a fresh jar of poison sauce. I would put some of this in the saucepan. Okay and add some water to it. And I will also add some sugar. Now, I usually would add about close to a one-to-one -one ratio of water to the sauce. And after it's cooked up, if it's too runny, I then thicken it back up again with a little bit of tapioca starch. Um, so I like just mix through some water into a paste. Okay, I'm just gonna put some sugar in here. And I'll just keep this up on the side.
with this rice uh, rice roll. You don't have to. You have a steamer. You can cook this on the micro in the microwave. And for that, you need a microwave safe container. Okay, square preferably. This is quite small. But another one I've got here is just a lid to a takeaway box. Okay, so you can use that too. But because because I really want it to be very very thin, so I put just a couple of tablespoons. Okay, yeah, on here. And you will want to oil the surface before you do that, and then just sap it. Okay, that's going in for about 45 seconds, one minute, depending on how big uh, the surface area is that needs cooking. Okay, and we'll come back once this rice noodles are done. Like I said, they take about two or three minutes. Then you just gotta take it out and let it cool in the pan for a couple more minutes before you try and do anything with it. We'll come back. So we're back and the rice noodles are done in this tray. And what you wanna do is just sort of like roll it up into a tube like this. I'll take a photo so you can see what it looks like. And the bit that I microwaved earlier, again, just roll it up. Okay. And what you would usually do is just cut it up about one inch wide, pop it on a plate, put some of the sauce that I cooked up earlier on it. And if you were using the prawn paste or shrimp paste sauce, you would do the same as with the hoisin sauce. Just add some water, some sugar, and just warm it up and mix it through. Now, in Malaysia, usually this is what it would look like, except that we would usually sprinkle some toasted sesame seeds on top as well, which I don't happen to have any lying around, but there you go. Selamat makan.